It really doesn't take long for diversity to kick in in a town, does it? We've had a double stabbing here in Hartlepool. An elderly man was murdered on the street after visiting an ATM and a second person was injured as well. Um, the person who did it is a Muslim. I don't know if they have recently arrived because all the recent arrivals are Muslims. Um, and it's really, it's really only just happened. You can only see the change uh, here in Hartlepool occurring over the last, even just, just over the last year, not even the last few years, but over the last year. So we are on the way, the, the trajectory is clear. Uh, Hartlepool is on its way to becoming uh, Bradford or Birmingham or some diverse nightmare. Hellhole. We're on our way. We're on our way. I, I, the politicians, there's no doubt, the politicians will say that, uh, oh, isn't it outrageous? We must, uh, they'll give some stupid uh, excuse. You know, the, the police are talking about looking for a motivation. Um, <laughs> looking for a reason, looking for a cause. I can tell you the reason, because you're bringing uncivilised people to our world highly uncivilized violent people to our world now they're not all like that but they don't all have to be like that and frankly to protect ourselves from them we have to stop all of them from coming here why are we expected to give up our safety for someone else's chance to live in the first world no i look i i, I tell you now the politicians will say the usual sound bites about how awful it is and how we must do something and we need to bring up police numbers and the police need more resources and the police the police have plenty of resources you try misgendering someone and see how many resources the police have this has nothing to do with resources and they're lying to you know it, 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 the counter-terrorism police are involved but uh we still don't know uh, we get, we're not going to speculate on the causes of all this, even though you bring, you're bringing in tech. Look, there is, I am standing to be your MP in Hartlepool. And I promise you, if you come with me, come with me, come with me. I will do everything in my power. I will hire, as after, if I have to use my own money, I will. I will hire any lawyers I can find to challenge the government on this monstrosity that is occurring in our country. Every day, people who threaten us are pouring into our country. It is changing our towns and cities beyond all recognition. There isn't an MP in Parliament today who will say a word against it. I will not only say anything against it, I will actively fight with every avenue available to me. And if there aren't avenues available, I will make those avenues. I'm asking the people of Hartlepool to come with me on this. This town is my home. I love it. I no more want to see it turn in to some Brad Bradford ghetto than you do. Come with me. We can do this. We can do this. Hartlepool is a beautiful town. And in saving it from this nightmare, we will spark the rest of the country to do the same. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's stop them from destroying our beautiful town.